It's a horrible story out of Aurora tonight. One person killed, dozens more left homeless after a fire at the Galena Apartments. We do have smoke from the third floor. It appears that we have several people who have jumped and are laying on the ground. Most of the people inside were sleeping when the fire broke out, and we spoke to people who jumped to safety from their windows. And tonight, these pictures show a person of interest in connection with this fire. Now, authorities right now are not calling this arson, yet it will be a lengthy investigation. And as you can imagine, those victims will face a long, difficult recovery. Number 7's Liz Gilardi is in Aurora tonight with the latest. Liz? Well, and right now, crews are boarding up windows, but earlier people were jumping from windows trying to get out of the building as it filled up with smoke. One person did not make it out, and tonight police are looking for a person of interest. <laughs> Hours after escaping a fire. Just try to get as much as we can. Residents rushed into this Aurora apartment building. By tomorrow, we won't be able to go in. Grabbing their belongings before it's boarded up. Well, as soon as we got out, we just started yelling, screaming at people to get out. We were breaking the windows. This video from a resident shows what it looks like when firefighters arrived. As soon as the firemen got here, we knew there was a lady trapped in the third floor back there on the other side of the building. One witness said some people in the building who work in construction grabbed a ladder because they knew someone was still inside. We had her family screaming at the cops, at the firemen that she was trapped in there. The fire department says one person died and several others were taken to the hospital because some of them jumped out of windows. They did have uh, some victims on the ground that had already jumped as well as a uh, um, some people needing rescue from the second and third floor. Late Friday afternoon, investigators released photos showing a person of interest. The owner of the building told Denver 7 he handed over surveillance video to police. A cause hasn't been determined and nothing is being ruled out, including arson. We were on the other side where the fire was really bad. I felt terrible. I felt hopeless. Now, I mean, imagine what her family felt. It's a very, like, terrible feeling. And Denver 7 spoke with the victim's family. They were not ready to do an interview at this time. Tonight, 60 people are displaced. This building has been deemed unsafe. They will not be able to go home for quite some time. We know tonight the Red Cross is working with them to meet their needs and get them somewhere to stay. Reporting live in Aurora, Liz Gilardi, Denver 7. What a tragedy. Liz, thank you.